Recorded live in Austin, Texas, USA, it's The William Montgomery Show. Starring William Montgomery. With the Tony Chin Orchestra. The William Montgomery Junior Dancer. As always, William is joined by the lovely Erica. I'm Brett Erickson. And now, here he is. The Big Red Machine, William Montgomery. Back there, Grant. We're recording. He feels all crazy because he has a mask on. He's not used to it. He's sick. I'm not sick. Yeah, Grant, how are you feeling? He has kids. Kids are always sick. Kids are always sick. Well, he said his wife is sick. Well, yeah, with the kids. He's being uh, overly, not overly safe. He is being properly safe Mm -hmm. around us because Mm -hmm. he respects us as artists. We don't want to see his boogers anyway. (laughs) But, But we did just find out that after, what, six weeks of doing this? What? That we uh, have been showing a picture of Boston in the background of the shot of the show instead of Austin. Grant, that's so funny that you. What the fuck? What happened? <laughs> Grant, I, what happened? Can I be honest here? <laughs> that was wow. the image that was up with you guys and Mike before I even got that's here. That's what I'm talking Mike about. We had Mike. Mike is in here. Uh, you know. Gosh. Not to throw him under the bus. Yeah, but I was just it was literally here. thinking you're throwing Mike under the bus. I was literally thinking that exact term. I'm throwing <laughs> it's Mike. Funny, under you the just bus. said that. I'm not trying to throw him under the bus. I'm just saying this was the approved image when I got here. I'm I didn't throwing have... Mike under the bus. Mike, come over here. You're going under the yeah, bus. Yeah, where right is now. Mike? Where it, where did he go? He's in Boston. I think he's in Boston. <laughs> is he Boston? in Boston? He's, in, he's, he's back in Boston with his favorite what, background image. In what world? Do you? I mean, did he think when we said, "Hey, man, we want some backdrops of Austin"? Did he hear Boston? Because that's not a typo. Yeah, is it a fucking joke? He was pretty is, funny. Oh, maybe is it a he's fucking joke. And now I get it. He's fucking with us. I think it's a joke. And Grant, what did you say? He has another family in Boston. <laughs> <laughs> is that what you said? I was just following on the heels of Brett. <laughs> I'm not. I don't know well, if you have I'm secret family over the there. Bus. Gosh, yeah, you're just throwing everyone under the bus today. <laughs> Sorry, Brett. William told me to say that. I I just want to. Apologize. Whoa! Don't throw me under the bus. <laughs> You've thrown everyone under the bus, <laughs> except for good. Erica. Yeah, Erica's good. Thank you. But just everyone, when uh, our guest gets here, you should throw them under the bus. <laughs> on it, please. Okay, thank you. Wait. So what is that? Wait. So that's Austin. This is Austin. This is uh. This is Austin at night. At night. So where's the Boston picture? I don't know. You I don't know where it. to All find that. All you have to do thing. is look back at any of our first episodes. That's. I can't believe I thought y'all were Boston. kidding about the whole Boston thing. That kind of pisses me off. <laughs> I thought that was a joke. Y'all are serious. It's fucked up. I don't know if it's actually. I thought y'all Boston, were kidding. I thought you were kidding, Grant. No, I'm positive it's not Austin. I don't know what city it is. In what world does Mike think that we want any other city's backdrop? I think he's fucking with us. I think it's more of these, oh, these California hippies are coming to my city. He's trying to sabotage it. Yeah, that's right. I really think he's trying to sabotage Mm -hmm. it. And the last week, even what you were trying to pull, Grant, now you come here with- what did he pull? COVID. Remember last week? What did I do? What did he do again? Remember everything that happened last week? Oh, Oh, right. Yeah. Gosh, yeah, it was just <laughs> bad. You, you could say this for literally any time I'm producing for you guys that I'm messing up. No, we're all just kidding. We're goofing. That is Austin, though, now, right? That's an Austin. That is Austin. You can see that uh, the frost tower is glowing over on the left-hand side. That's um, It looks uh, like an elephant Is with that a what crown. it's called, a frost tower? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know. It looks like an elephant with see, a I crown. I don't see that. You see the two circles? Uh, those are the eyes. Oh my and God, in between, I see there's it. like a trunk of a nose going down, and then it's got a crown. I was told it's supposed to be modeled off of uh, off of Ganesh. I don't know if that's true. Off of what? Ganesh, Hindu. The Hindu oh, god. Oh. First of all, Grant, that's very interesting. Second of all, fuck you. I don't believe you. <laughs> yeah, an <laughs> elephant. I don't see an elephant. Whole, 
you know, Boston, here's a picture Austin. of Bo- here's a picture of Austin. Yeah. It's really Boston thing, and then you're gonna come back with here's the Frost Tower. It's named after a Hindu god. Yeah, with that <laughs> dumbass no little way. mouse thing. I saw the little mouse saying he was circling it for us. Yeah, <laughs> where the elephant was. I yeah. didn't see that. <laughs> it's like he's going crazy. I'm sorry. Uh, here, let me switch one more time. Just put up fucking Boston. Here, here's the streets of Austin. That looks good. The Sixth that Street. Sixth Street. Yeah. The iconic Ritz Theater. Yes. Across All the right. street from the Nar Bar. You love the Nar Bar. Have you ever been to the Nar Bar, bro? No. What is it? Just is really cool. <laughs> what were they? Put, they were playing punk rock. Punk rock. I remember getting real drunk there. Some guy was getting me shots, and Erica got on me. She's like, "Who's this guy?" No, I was like, well, that, no, I didn't say who's this guy. I was like, well, that was rude. He didn't get me one. <laughs> he was like, hey, what's your name? And he was like, oh, yeah, I didn't know your name. A huge fan. Uh, let me get you a drink. And I was like, well, that was rude. I didn't get one. He didn't even know your name. And then that turned into an ordeal. And then it I'm really thinking, do I take not. the shot? Do I not? Do I give share it, it back? No, you took it. Did I? Yeah, it was fine. <laughs> I then, I was just like, why didn't I get one? No, I hear you. Yeah. I understand. Yeah, I that was who it. The fuck, that was like uh, punk rock. You... I like ska. Ska music. She found some ska band. We're gonna go skank it's in like the pit. It's like Hans, Hans and the something, a local one. Hans and the Kims. The Hans and the Kims. Hans and the Kims. What are their names? I wonder if you well, that'll be them. fun. Yeah, they perform a lot. At like a coffee shop. Oh, a ska band that performs a lot at a coffee shop. You I know, f- yeah. I know. Fuck yeah. It must be really good. Mm-hmm. I uh, <laughs> <laughs> I always like the Minutemen. Yeah. Do you like them? They're cool. Yeah. yeah. What happened to that? The lead singer. He died in a car crash. Ooh. I yeah. think. I don't know what happened. I'm doing some random. Uh, thing in fort worth tonight we'll see how much fucking time i can do right with the car crash thing i found some guy who's willing to drive up there and then we'll see if uh uh he crashes or not it's supposed to rain tonight i just have a weird (laughs) feeling about going a little bit yeah and we'll see brett all i can really do is all i've the longest i've done in a really long time is 20 minutes oh you can do it I, I don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe try to do some crowd work or something. Like, I don't know. When I get back from this today, I'm going to try to just compile everything. I think I have a lot of stuff compiled. But then I start, I'm after just a bunch of short jokes, I just think I have to be doing something else for a little. We'll see what happens. We'll see if I can do it tonight or if it's going to be a total disaster. I think you can do it easily. I think you'll do great. Talk about your favorite ska bands. <laughs> I know. Well, we haven't. Well, I haven't seen one. I've never <laughs> seen one. I yeah. We'll take you, Hans Gruber. Hans Gruber and the Diehards are their name. That's a good name, yeah. Hans Gruber. We need to get him on the show. <laughs> are Scott people nice? Yeah. He wants to learn how are. to skank. Yeah. Have he, you ever skanked before? I don't think so. I used to go to a lot of uh, Spanish ska shows in high school, and I don't even yeah. speak Spanish. I loved them. It's fun to dance to, though. Yeah. Right? I mean, it was like a mosh pit still, but yeah, you would skank. Yeah. It's like, it's it's not as violent as like a You get an elbow pit, every you know? now and again, but that's about it. It's a it. fun elbow, though. Yeah. It's yeah. It's like, like a, a, hey, it's like dancing. Hey, hey, gosh. <laughs> ah. Does it hurt? I mean, I guess, but I mean, you, know, you yeah. get into a mosh pit with, you know, in a metal show or something, and people are trying to do damage to you. Has that ever happened to you before? I stayed away from that stuff. I'm a pussy. That seems scary. Yeah, you can pay me to do that. Would you do that, Grant? Get in a mosh pit? I used to go to like uh, the the Vans Warp Tour and stuff and do those kind of pop punk mosh pits. I don't know if that counts. Like a Blink-182 pit? Basically, yeah. (laughs) Yeah, Blink-182. Yeah, man. Yeah, they're pretty gentle. It's one of those mosh pits where they they knock you down and they immediately pick you right back up. Aww. Not like Astro That's World. Sweet. It's all friendly, yeah. Couldn't catch me at a mosh pit. Couldn't catch you at a mosh pit. After Astro World and people get squished. Do you think you'd get squished? Yeah, people get they they'll squish you, especially as an adult when like there's like people drinking at concerts. They don't care. I used to love drinking at concerts. 
<laughs> I remember I went to a Leonard Skinner concert with my cousin Andrew, and we were drinking like Evan Williams out in the car, just getting wasted. <laughs> And my fucking cousin, Andrew, I think he ended up vomiting in the car or something, so we couldn't go to the fucking concert, and it pissed me off. Well, you never even or we in. saw a little of it. Yeah. I can't remember. It was so many years ago. Skinnered. Skinnered. Yeah. With I maybe one or two. You did? Yeah. Did you like him? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it was obviously well past the time when you should be seeing Skinnered, if there is a time. <laughs> yeah. But they, uh, you know, all their, half their band died in that plane crash and their singer was one of them. So like they did Freebird. They had, they had a, a the younger brother of the guy. It was, sing, was Something the singer. Van Zant. Yeah. One of the Van Zants was singing, but he, uh, when they got to Freebird at the end, he didn't sing. Try to sing that out of respect. They so were he just playing the music. He he brought out the uh, the lead singer's hat. He had like one of them flat brim yeah. hats he always wore. That was seen pictures. They yeah. put that on on the microphone on the microphone stand, <laughs> and then the band played the song. And and no uh, one is singing. Twelve thousand people in Peoria, Illinois, sang Freebird. Oh my gosh! Were you crowd. one of them? I was right there, baby. I would have been too. That sounds exciting. It was funny. It was funny. It was like uh, cheesy, but it was. Uh, uh, I teared up a little bit too. You that's know what sweet. I mean? I mean, that's a classic <laughs> yeah. song. Yeah, yeah. I remember my dad showing me that song one time. I was like, "Oh, this is so cool." <laughs> Skinner, free bird. Skinner rocked, man. Yeah, I love them. Give me three steps. Call me the breeze. Swamp music. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Saturday night special. What is that about a pistol? Yep. God, that, would you that, ever have a th uh, a Saturday night special? No. <laughs> How come? No, because I'd probably accidentally shoot myself. Yeah, I always thought I'm never getting a gun because I would end up shooting myself with it. Yeah, kind of kidding, but that's always that's what I've always thought. It's like I don't know. I don't know if I went. Some I mean, I, yeah, I've never seriously considered suicide always because it feels like it would be too much of a hassle. Too many steps involved. Like if you didn't have a gun. It, but if I had a gun. Yeah. Uh, it'd be like, Make well, it it's a lot of work. If yeah, Wait, you what would the other steps be if you didn't have a gun? What would you be doing? Throw the rope up. <laughs> yeah, you got to learn <laughs> how to tie. Up there. Imagine learning to tie that complicated, you know, like you see in the cow Western. Yeah. You know, like, I couldn't Finding tie a, not a sailor. Finding right. a dealer to get you enough pills. There's right. a lot of effort. Finding a building tall enough. Yeah. Ooh. There's a lot of work. Then you got to go up all those steps. I know. What See if, if the security will even or... let you in the elevator? It's all you got to think. That probably wouldn't hurt jumping off a building. Do you think so? I think it would probably hurt for what, like a second? For a second. <laughs> See, you that's immediately what, but nobody, die, wouldn't you? I mean, yeah, but I mean, maybe your, uh, you know, maybe your your consciousness, yeah, your pain receptors are still registering pain while you're laying there on the ground. You could just be, you could be like. What if like your head explodes? <laughs> you would just that should do it. That should do it. Gosh, I think I'd throw myself under a bus. Would you? I'd have Grant help me. Would you be willing to help with doing that, Grant? <laughs> I I mean I'm on a roll. It seems so. Yeah, far. he's good at it. <laughs> <laughs> the throwing. <laughs> Yeah, I smoked a little weed before this, so that one totally just went over my head, uh, throwing it under the bus, and you've been- Oh, it was a callback from two minutes ago, and you missed it already? <laughs> <laughs> he forgot about it. Oh, already forgot about it. But yeah, we'll see how uh, how Memphis goes, traveling back to Memphis on the 21st. Mm-hmm. Uh, Francis already has a pretty good menu set up. It sounds really? like. Oh, it sounds so. I'm asking good. her to cook things, and she is, what, which is very sweet. What are you asking for? A shrimp and rice dish. Yeah, shrimp and rice dish. Burgers one night. Grouper. Grouper one night. Lamb on Christmas Eve. Lamb on <gasps> Christmas Eve at our aunt and uncle's house. So Eric is about to meet a bunch of family people. So it'll be interesting. Everybody meeting one another. Aunts mm -hmm. and uncles. Aunts and uncles Mont and they Montgomery all have side, kids. Montgomery side, or both sides, or uh, my mom's Sister? uh, sister's husband. 
Yeah. Yeah, my aunt and uncle on that side. Are you guys like are, are there crazy people in your family? Uh yeah, I mean I've spoken about Lee before. Oh, uncle yeah, Lee, yeah. the guy who died. I remember one Christmas Eve, Lee was over there and at their house there was just like two steps up like getting out of the garage or something and Lee tripped on one of the steps and there was a uh, like a table next to him with all this Christmas stuff set up and he like did, swiped everything down which made tons of noise and he's on the ground I remember that he, he would have definitely gone viral Uncle Lee if he would yeah. have been around mm-hmm. today you know God, Uncle Lee, and then he'd go outside and smoke. So that's funny. I've been smoking a bunch recently, but he'd step outside and smoke. And I remember my parents always being like, oh my gosh, what's he doing? <laughs> and I just think that when I'm sitting out on the porch playing balloons, fucking mm-hmm. chain smoking, watching the neighbors, trying to figure <laughs> out what they're doing. Some people become their fathers, but you're becoming your uncle. I'm becoming my uncle Lee. <laughs> Gosh, when uh when he died, my mom said they had to go to his like apartment and there were tons of flies in there. And they found out he died because one of the, because one of the, Oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> no, but they found out he died because some neighbor like the air vents were connected and flies oh, started no. flying in their apartment. Oh no. Uncle How Lee. long was he in there? I don't know. He was Days? in his apartment for a while. Oh, It'd no. have to be if there's flies everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Woo. Woo. And then do you probably don't tell the next people moving in that that <laughs> happened, do you? Do you have to disclose that information? I don't think so. That'd no. be funny if you did take a picture or something and then just send it to him in the mail. <laughs> That'd be horrible. Oh Seeing God. it's your house and some dead person and it's like the yeah. real picture. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this place comes furnished with that chair. We're leaving the chair here. Yeah. My God. Just with some dead body because I would think it's probably Who running. found him? I don't know. I don't remember that much. He was a t- television salesman at Sears. He really? sells televisions at Sears. Yeah. Would you ever go to Sears? That was a big, the main Sears. thing, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, that was a big, a big mid- thing. Midwest thing, a Sears in the mall. Yeah, in the mall. Every mall had a Sears and a J.C. Penny. Those were the two big stores. Yeah. We got all of our shit at either Sears or J.C. Penny. What, like clothing? Clothes from and- J.C. Penny and everything else that you needed from yeah, Sears. Yeah, from Sears tools and stuff just a bunch of shit yeah <laughs> i remember getting video games from sears i think but yeah <laughs> um, i think nice and little underwear with like batman on it i think that came from sears from sears wow maybe yeah. that's why you were so attracted to the batman game at dave and buster's it's like it could be you know it's just all it takes you right back to that happy place when you were just in your Batman briefs and you were playing your just running Atari. around Atari. Yeah, doing a little towel around my neck with a safety Aww. pin, and then you'd really know you were Batman <laughs> if you had the cape. Did you ever do that, Grant? Wear a cape around your neck? Yeah, like a towel. Um, yeah, I guess cool. when I was like a kid. <laughs> yeah, when you were a little kid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. All about it. <laughs> 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 Cool. Yeah, I was getting a Batman background for you. Aww. What is that Batman? What version of Batman is that? Looks like a Lego Batman. Surprised it's not a picture of Spider-Man with I know. his ability to put up pictures. Yeah, I mean, God. Did you find the Boston one, though? Because maybe I think that's fun. <laughs> <laughs> still, uh, still hunting for it. Maybe we could just every week we'll just put up a picture of a different city and then people can try guess to guess. the city. I think that's fun. That's fun. I think that's And then fun. we, since we're new here, we'll just think it's Austin because we're dumb. Yeah, I had no idea. <laughs> no one will tell us. We didn't know any better. They'll play a, a prank on us. Yeah. Well, please, Grant, don't do any more of that shit. I mean, I'm trying to, I wonder if that really was Mike. I wonder if he really did do that on purpose. <laughs> we'll figure it out. I don't know if we'll ever, I've thought about it. I don't think we'll ever see Mike again. I think we rubbed him the wrong way for some reason. I'm thinking we will never see him again. Something happened. Would he come in as a guest, do you think? Oh my gosh. We can book him. Yeah, Grant, you think he'd come? (laughs) I think he'd be delighted. (laughs) Cool. Again, something happened. That's why he hadn't been around here. I'm convinced something happened. You guys can get to the bottom of it. We'll get to the bottom of it. 
Hash it out with Mike. Yeah, we gotta hash it out with Mike. <laughs> we have to. Mm-hmm. But yeah, un- Uncle Lee, um, rest in peace. Rest in peace. Rest in peace, Uncle Lee. He's just up there in heaven, smoking a cigarette outside, right on the edge of heaven. He is. Chilling. He was a weird guy. I think he was a homosexual. I think that's what my uh, mom and aunt would say. I think he was. <laughs> Not that that makes you weird. That he was an overall, weird. right. Not that that makes you weird, but he just overall was a very strange You got to put something in there. Like he was a weird <laughs> guy and he was also a homosexual and the two things are completely unrelated. Right. The sentence I did made it sound like being a homosexual is really weird, which is totally not what my intention was. It's it's weird, but it's cool weird. He was just stating, That's what I he was just stating facts about Uncle Lee. Yeah, I mean, we got to, I really shouldn't have just, I messed up doing the sentence that I just said. Yeah, I mean, we have to somehow. Say another thing about him. What else was he? Fix this whole thing. It's sort of sad thinking about it. I can't really picture. I can kind of picture what he looks like. How old were you really. when he passed? I don't know. 14, maybe. I don't know. He's just out of my memory. Aww. We weren't it really that close. So. <laughs> I wouldn't see him that often. Yeah. We weren't allowed to. He was the craziest <laughs> one in the family. Who's Is it you now that is the uh, craziest one? Probably the rest of the family talks about when you're not around. I don't know. I think at one point it easily could have been. It might be my youngest brother, Selden, now. But I think he's doing pretty good. But Erica saw, we went to some concert, and man, I walked in their apartment where they all were. I was taking them to some concert. It was right when I sort of stopped drinking. They're all just getting fucked up. (laughs) And it was weird looking at my youngest brother because we look very similar. He has red hair and everything. And I was like, oh my gosh, I was just looking at myself. Uh huh. It was just strange, kind of like I didn't really care, but it was like kind of weird. And then he started dancing real crazy. I mean, he was so, he (laughs) He was was, fucked up at the damn show. He was, I don't know. Oh yeah, he was like playing, like he was sick, but we weren't sure if he was kidding or not. And I was thinking that seems like something I would do, like pretend (laughs) I was sick. Like it was so strange. Like I was like, oh my gosh. He's a good dancer though. He was dancing pretty good. He was making up some moves. Yeah, it was pretty good at, pretty good dancing. He's also a real good whistler. Really? <laughs> yeah. William That's was always talking about his whistle. I know. It's cool. Can you whistle? <laughs> Can you, Erica? Not on command. I feel like when I smile, I can't. Oh, that's weird. Can you, Grant? Sure. Let's hear it. <laughs> okay. So easy. I can go in and out. Not to brag. You really can. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. Can you whistle? (laughs) (laughs) Got him. (laughs) Boom. That's for the Boston picture. Yeah, you just fell for that one. Yeah, uh, I'm going to mute myself again. (laughs) I love these cups. I see you have one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's a Yeti family. Yeah, we're in Yeti country. I know. They're companies here. Oh, are they? Mm-hmm. I don't know. Yeah. William's more of a Tervis guy. I'm more guy. of an igloo guy. Oh, really? Is that what this is? I was given it as a gift. We'll have to convert Yeah, Sweet Fans set, sent it. It used to have stickers that said, what a nightmare, but those fell right off. I peeled those, <laughs> those fucking stickers things. stickers were off. a real nightmare. Well, it's a certain, oh, you peeled them off. Well, it's a certain- No, I can't of, remember what happened right to them. Uh, it's a certain texture. They didn't stick, but it was mm. sweet because that's a good cup. Send me this in two caps. Now I feel bad. The guy's going to listen and be like, he peeled the stickers they off because it looked off. like it was just, it was delicately done. It said, yeah, it had a couple of things. But I was thinking, how do you wash this thing? The stickers are going to fall off. <laughs> I've had stickers on my cup for a long time. Oh, yeah, you do. They stay right on. I've oh, got to get good stickers, man. Yeah, these were like paper. These were, seemed weird. They were like scrapbook know. stickers. Scrapbook stickers. Well, you're in Yeti country now, so I like Yeti because uh, they are also the uh, sponsor of the Austin FC soccer team. I'm a oh, soccer nice. fan, wearing my Inter Milan jersey today. 
just but, like a European uh, team. Yeah. Yeah, Italian. They're pretty team. good. Yeah, the Pirelli okay. tires. We yeah. talked about the Pirelli tires yeah. before. I, this is my. I started liking this team because this jersey was so cool. That's that what cool. I used to pick my teams. I would like. That's something I would do. I'd really? Pick, yeah. I, Why not? I, I think I like sports for the outfits. Yeah. <laughs> I like uh, October in football because all the pink. <laughs> for the breast cancer stuff. Yep. Yeah. Wait. So where did you find that jersey? Uh, I'm not sure I ordered it, but uh, oh, well, well. yeah, this is an Italian team. Cool. Austin FC, they have uh, a good looking jersey too. The green uh, and black. Yeah, the green and black. There it is. Oh, yeah, Yeti. That, Yeti. Yeti on the front, baby. <laughs> Tree forever. Grant, are you a fan of them? Yeah, actually. Do you go to the games? I have not been to any of the games, but I did watch most of the games on TV this season. Really? Would you get real drunk if you went to the games? <laughs> it looks like that's what you're supposed to do, so I guess. That'd be fun. Yeah. I'd drink with you there. Awesome. Let's go next season. I went to uh, five games this year. Oh, my nice. Gosh. Yeah. It I'm was sure that's fun, fun, man. The stadium is beautiful. It's a good time. So it, it, you know, it's you, you need to see soccer in a soccer only stadium. That, I've that never. Helps. Or, yeah, I've been in one one time in Denver for a fish show. <laughs> nice. Oh, my God. It was so funny walking around in that. In the parking lot with all the uh, nitrous oxide, just the sound of hissing balloons was going on the whole time. <laughs> yeah, that was, uh, there's nothing quite like jam bands for nitrous. I just saw, when remember we were talking yeah. about, I saw a uh, goose. Oh, yeah. Here yeah. on, uh, at the Scoot Inn. Yeah. <laughs> and it was nothing but hissing balloons out on the really? street outside walking away. It's just hilarious to me. Yeah, I funny. mean, we're grown adults. Do you ever do them? Would you? I haven't in a while, but I yeah, we used to do them all the time whenever we could, especially at shows. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you just get to go away for about 30 seconds. Yeah, it's not very long. <laughs> yeah, we had, I had a little cracker thing and I'd go buy uh -huh. the little canisters at like a smoke shop, mm -hmm. go through like a box of 30 of them just thinking... What am I doing? <laughs> it seems real stupid. Yeah. That's probably why I can't remember yeah. my jokes anymore. I did too many whippets. Yeah. Not all the time, but there were times my buddies and I would go get go to the fucking store and yeah, get two of them in a balloon and just sit out in the car and do some and doing them in the car too. Like not even <laughs> Not even taking them somewhere or, you you know, using them Not at even a party. Right? Yeah, like it wasn't at a house party. Car. No, just hitting like, them in the car right after dirty. we bought them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Brutal. Yeah, that's probably what people do with, like, heroin and stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Just right in the car. <laughs> You're like that, that lady, that old lady that does her scratch-offs right on the counter at the 7-Eleven when she buys them, you know? Yep. Like, doesn't that even is. take them out of... Get out of the line with them. Yep. Do you ever do those things, scratch offs? No. We were doing them for a little. We did them for a little bit. No. The three dollar ones. It was invigorating. Good. Yeah. It was so exciting. Did you win? Probably ultimately lost. Yeah. I would think, but won them some. Won like twenty bucks one time. That was so. We would exciting. get like the crosswords. Yeah, there were little games you could play. Yeah, that's fun. Just go sit outside, just drinking and smoking, just scratching them off, just being like, man, I have It always goes too fast. I, I've never been a fan of gambling it really much yeah, in any way really because good. I always like to, to drink and party, recreational drugs and fun. Yeah. And it seemed like gambling just took all my money. It does. Yeah, that I would that I would rather like when we go to Vegas. I don't really gamble. I just like to go to the bar. Do you at all? So you don't gamble at all? Not really. I mean, maybe we do some. That's like, smart. The first couple times we went, we didn't do it. Then I started playing roulette some, and it wasn't even table roulette. It was a uh, machine it was with roulette. The machine, where the machine's <laughs> constantly doing it, I'd be fucked up just playing it. At first, it was fun, and then I played it a second yeah. time because I was winning a little. I was putting them all, like all on red, and then I'd just be moving them around to different ones and sometimes it hit it and it was fun and then i did it again and it was i think one it time stressed me out i was like eh, this isn't really fun. he once we were going to like vegas every three four months and um he once lost two hundred dollars because he was doing drunk instagram live a bunch and people kept telling him to keep going <laughs> <laughs> and he comes back to the room he's like i lost 200 bucks but i gained three followers yeah right there you go totally yeah. worth it mm -hmm. yeah 
Woo, I'd block that out of my head, kind of. Remember that time I, we would- <laughs> I all, remember that now. We would- uh, always, uh, I'd forgotten about that. We would all, like if it was summertime, we'd go to the pool every day and just like relax and whatever and sneak our own alcohol mm-hmm. or like get a $30 margarita by the pool. But um, we would always do slots right before we'd go to the pool and I just did it like two spins and I won like 400 bucks. Yeah, that was exciting. Yeah, and then I stopped. I wouldn't. I didn't go anymore. And it was like our second day in. I was like, I can't. That's the biggest I'm ever gonna win. Yeah, yeah. Get out. It was like a fish win, and all these bubbles started coming up. It's so exciting. We got some nice dinners. Yeah, I got some good dinners. Good. Yeah, that's fun. Yeah, it was a lot of that little get out like that though. You got that four hundred large. I've never won, so I was like, I'm never gonna get anything like this. It's good for you. You have willpower. We did acid one time in Vegas, and I remember walking out on the strip, and it was like some random time we were there, and it seemed there were people everywhere, and I just started getting totally panicky. Mm-hmm. I was like, we have to go back. I was having fun, but yeah. He were was- you on the- I wasn't having fun. It was too much for some reason. Yeah. If you're, if you're on psychedelics, I think you should be on the old strip. Free- right. I'm sure that would be- Fremont fun. Street. Because they've got like a thing that goes over the whole street with like yeah, I've a seen that. LED light show above you, and it's just more chill. And it's they have yeah. their, they have that container park. Yeah, there's a lot of things yeah. to look at. Yeah, there the stri- the, fun. The you know the the strip. I get. I don't like that either. God, Too and there much. Were, and then we were just sitting at these slot machines, just down at the thing, watching people, watching people. And there's this one real little skinny guy who was like talking to everybody, and he somehow knew everybody. Yeah, we would with different groups of people. Yeah, just some nondescript I he was the skinny white guy. I became convinced guy. he was the devil. <laughs> oh yeah, William was was for sure convinced. It was really weird. Kind of kidding, but it was just so maybe. weird. Yeah, yeah. But maybe he's the devil. He somehow uh-huh. knew everybody, all these seemingly random groups of people. Uh huh. Like, I think that's the last time I did acid. No. Because it was, yeah. That was know. your first Vegas trip. Was it? Mm hmm. It scared me. There's a lot of stimulus in Vegas if you're tripping. You know, it, was, visually it became pretty, too uh, much. Hectic. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure it could be fun, but it became too much, and then I immediately start thinking balcony. I'm a crazy person. <laughs> yeah, we went up on the balcony. That's how we chilled on the acid, and then That's we found good. an artist called Les Baxter. Les Baxter, do you know Les Baxter? Les Baxter does like Baxter. jungle sounding music like, from like yeah. the '60s. I think they call yeah. it like jazz exotic or something. Yeah, exotica. Uh huh. Right on. It's great. Yeah, we got to show it to you. It's really good. That's cool. Mm-hmm. Or maybe it's because we were on acid. Because <laughs> there have been things I've revisited thinking, oh, this is so funny or something. And I go back when yeah. I'm not tripping and I'm like, oh, gosh. Yeah, you're like, Why wait a minute. So funny? This fish song is 32 minutes long. Yeah, what was I doing? <laughs> <laughs> I remember getting antsy at that show. I don't think I was tripping or anything. I went with my buddy Jackson. Mm-hmm. Maybe drinking too much or something. And I was like, uh, let's end up getting out of here. There were people everywhere. We were like in the thing. And I was just got, to, I was like, oh, we need to get out of here. <laughs> I couldn't imagine tripping. Mm-hmm. That sounds nightmarish. Just being surrounded by people, not being able to get out of somewhere. Yeah, that seems hectic. Really hectic. But you've never tripped, have you, Grant? Mm, no. I mean, <laughs> I've done shrooms before. How was that? Was it fun? It was all right. It was kind of just too long. Did it last? Who were you with? Your wife? No. Just in, in His college. kids. Yeah, your kids. <laughs> My kids. It was really exhausting. Dropping them. them off at school. <laughs> just eating mushrooms every day. <laughs> just microdosing kids. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Uh, that's funny. Picturing you doing that, Grant. Just taking mushrooms every day and driving your kids around. <laughs> Got to get by somehow. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> I used to smoke weed uh, when I was driving my kids around, and uh, when my kids were real little and really in car seats. And uh, I had to stop when uh, my son uh, asked me what it what uh, that noise was because I was tapping out my hitter on the uh, uh, window. You know, you'd crack your window and then smoke a hitter and I'd tap it out. Oh, oh. And he's like, Dad, what's that clank? What's that sound? 
What'd you, what you say? What are you doing? And I'm like, ah, I don't know, nothing. They didn't I don't question what the they smell? No, I not, I mean, they were little. Yeah. Okay. You know, I, so I was just getting away with it. And then that's when I started to think like, oh, maybe I should be. Did you stop A little that? more. Uh, yeah. I mean, most, uh, if they were in the car, for sure. Yeah. I, I realized that was probably pretty stupid behavior. That's but funny. I still smoked weed. How like, old were you? Oh, maybe 30. Mm hmm. Yeah. You know? Uh, I still would sneak off and smoke weed when I was with my kids, though, because, you know, sometimes you just, if you're going to play with your kids, sometimes you need to be in the right mindset, you know? Yeah, yeah. Be a little I'm silly. Sure. Yeah, I can play Candyland if I'm high. Could you if you were <laughs> not high? Well, it I mean, probably wouldn't be as fun, I agree. <laughs> yeah, it's just easier. Or high. You get into it, you know, if you get if you get really stoned, then you can just get really into it. That's funny. Yeah, it'll be weird to go back to my parents' house because you smoke a decent amount of weed here, but there, I don't think you could smoke in front of my parents at all. I think it'd be weird, so we got to be real sneaky. <laughs> he vaguely mentioned it on the phone because he was joking, saying, "Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna drink for Christmas," and they're like, "No, you're not." And he's like, "Well, I'm gonna be smoking weed," and Good then he said it really though. quick, and I don't think they noticed. That's what. Listen, I I think that the smoking weed helps you not drink and i think that's a good thing <laughs> maybe some at some point you will think about changing up the way you do it but at this point i don't see that as a problem i see it as a, a, a yeah that's why i think it'll be fine so maybe so i'll smoke just front guilt of them into it just be like look even if either it was I'm weed over this, cigarettes either i'm smoking this blunt or i'm drinking that bottle of vodka right there yeah what do you want? Ooh. We're going to drink that Larry. Tito's you got over the, laying around over there. <laughs> Woo, I remember the first time drinking, I was probably 14 or 15, and I mixed uh, vodka and orange juice mm -hmm. and walked around the neighborhood with my buddy Christopher. I was like, oh. this feels weird. You guys went on a walk? <laughs> yeah, I went on a walk around that's the sweet. neighborhood. Uh-huh. That's pretty cool. Whose house? Your house? Yeah, my parents' house. Yep. And I remember, yeah, having a hide smoking weed and then Francis catching me sometimes and getting yeah, just all pissed off seeing my red eyes. It was always a bad ordeal. Yeah, my mom caught me one time. She found my uh, dugout. You know, I had one of those wooden dugouts. Yeah, I like those. Sick. The metal uh, hitter that goes into it. I left it in my pants and my mom came in and got all the dirty clothes. Woo! The wash. Was that bad? Was she it was pissed? Bad. Pissed. Yeah. Damn. Not happy about that, Betsy. Think she ever still thinks about that? I don't think she minds anymore. She's pretty chill. Now. Yeah, yeah. She's yeah. chilled out in her old age. Has she? But Does she, she was. Uh, no, no. Would you but smoke in front of her? No, no. Yeah. But they're pretty cool. They're they they just did they just they were like sixties people who lived in the Midwest who the whole sixties thing missed. You know what I mean? Like my dad graduated college in 67 and he smoked weed maybe twice in his life. Yeah. You know, just he's, he's a now? farmer, you know. Would he smoke now? No. He drinks every day. He goes up to the bar at five o'clock and he has two Pabst Blue Ribbons. Cool. Nice. And then he goes home. Nice. Well, that's fun. Yeah. Has he been a regular at that bar oh, for yeah. a very long time? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a town with, uh, you know, 1,500 people. So it is. He's been going to that bar since, you know, for 50 years. Have you ever gone to that bar? Lots of times. Yeah. Is it cool? Yeah. Yeah, it's. Uh, I mean, they've had a couple of different bars in the in the little town I'm from, Walnut. Walnut. Walnut, Illinois. What's the name of the bar? Uh, I don't. I think now it's called uh, Cones's. Cones's maybe. My mom Cones's used to be bar. the bartender at one of the bars in in Walnut when I was in high school. It was her part time job. She she uh, on the weekends she was a bartender. So mm -hmm. I would be able to have the car. I could cruise cool. around, and then I had to come and pick up my mom at like one a.m. because that was the when she got out of there. So I'd cool. cruise into the bar and hang out for a little while. Did you ever drink in there? No, I wasn't allowed to drink yeah, in there. Yeah, yeah. But it was cool. I know. You know, very cool. Do your parents like to have a, a little beverage? One. 
Yeah. Pretty late curfew. Yeah. I mean, this was, uh, you know, junior, senior in high school time, you know, but it was always cool. And my, and it was cool to hang out. Like, like this was a town where you could go, we went into the bar because that was our arcade. Mm -hmm. You know, there were video games in there. Arcade so games in the bar. Yeah. We'd go in and get, uh, quarters from the bartender and go in the back and play Pac-Man. Nice. Fun. Life. That was life. <laughs> yeah. Do Larry and Francis drink ever? Yeah, Larry always drinks, a, I think, a couple of ice houses. Mm -hmm. I've never seen him drunk. He'll drink a couple of beers every night. Yeah. My mom will drink some wine and stuff. I've never really seen her get too drunk. She gets kind of tipsy and Do you think they'd her smoke? mouth gets red. Do you think they'd smoke with us? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Well, your little brother? Yeah, Selden might. Vance might. I don't know. Oh, really? We'll may see. Oh, and Grant puts up the marijuana thing. Maybe uh, uh, maybe Francis and Larry would like to smoke with you in a new freeze pipe, uh, frozen uh, pipe water bong. Yeah. I know they... Uh, this is where we should be morphing into a live read. Oh, yeah. I know. It would be perfect. The freeze pipe corporation. It does the smoke 300 the degrees. Corporation. <sighs> yeah, I looked them up on Instagram. I didn't, uh, I don't think they have a thing. Yeah. But yeah, it does the smoke 300 degrees cooler, which I want to try. I haven't done that. That we seems way to too cold. We used to put ice cubes in the bong. Oh, yeah. I've done that. So I'm interested in what the, the freeze pipe has to offer. I know. I got my, uh, I got a package from the freeze pipe company. And uh, uh, just uh, we instead of uh, opening it right up, we put it right under the uh, Christmas tree. And Are you saving it for Christmas? To open it on that's sweet. Christmas. I love that. You have to go to the post office yeah. after this. Well, that's yeah. fun. I mean, I don't know when this is going to come out. It's probably uh, Valentine's Day by now. By, yeah. But uh, oh, yeah. yeah, so it was kind of neat though. So thanks to the freeze pipe. Thank you, freeze pipe. Thank you, freeze pipe. I wonder if Mr. Freeze Pipe will ever come here. We need to get yeah. him on the show. That'd be nice. Yeah, we Just need get to get really baked in here. We could do that, couldn't we, Grant? Sure. <laughs> you really wouldn't care? He's man, I guess not. He's tripping on mushrooms, man. He don't care about nothing. Yeah, we spilled God. pickles in here last week. Oh God. well, yeah, we always brought some Arbiata sauce. He can't open yeah, his. I can't uh... open. <laughs> And then Erica was like, oh, don't bring it. It's going to no, get I, all over Brett. I and I was like, Brett's not going to get it all over. I said not. To, I didn't say don't bring it. I said, let's bring a little towel. <laughs> yeah. Let's put a towel on Brett's lap. That's all I These said. These are my good pants. Yeah, we need a towel on his lap and then he can open And he's like, I don't think we need a towel. And I was like, we should just bring oh, it. I didn't think you'd do it. I thought it would be fine. I'm glad that you had the faith in me that I could yeah, I had open faith the in you. You could do and, it, and I'm Just I'm happy case. that you were looking out for my best interests. Just in case, uh, fair but, enough. So you guys are both great. <laughs> yeah, we talked about it for a couple of hours. The, <laughs> the pros and cons of bringing it or not, and uh, uh, well, yeah, a couple of hours. I'll be glad to open up any jars that you have, have are struggling with. Cool, thank you. It's and from now on, I'll just open them o like over the table here, so that if it yeah if it spills, it's just Grant. It smells good problem. in here. Doesn't smell like pickles anymore. <laughs> good, good. <laughs> I don't smell any. It smells like Uncle Lee. It does. I wish I could smell him again. <laughs> it's been so long. Ooh, I was wondering, he probably smelled like cigarettes, is what you're saying, Grant? He probably did. <laughs> that, that was my guess from the anecdote. Yeah. He probably did. Cool. Well, we have a really good uh, guest today. I think it will be very intriguing, His th just his thoughts on all these subjects. Mm -hmm. um, I'm excited. I know. We have Hans Kim. It will be nice to talk to... Hans Kim. The William Montgomery Show is excited to announce our new sponsor, Manscaped. It's the new year, and whether your resolution is to work out more or travel to new places, be sure to travel to manscaped.com for our exclusive offer of 20% off and free shipping. Just use the promo code WMS. 
That's 20% off and free shipping with the code WMS at manscaped.com. One last time, 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use WMS. It's a new year. No pubes in 2022 with Manscaped. I mean, no pubes. <laughs> no pubes? You got to be thorough like Gattaca. Every, <laughs> every hair. <laughs> I just feel like I'd look like a little boy. If I didn't have any pubes or anything, I'd just look like a little kid or yeah. something, I feel like. Yep. Yeah, there's an amount you can trim your pubes back to make your dick look bigger. But if you go too far... Yeah, I just, just wouldn't... It wouldn't it be looks a good bad. look for me. I don't yeah, know. it looks like... Remember when you first started having to shower with the rest of the boys in like PE or whatever and no one had pubes yet and it was just like, oh, this is bad. I never did. I think I was a little later on on we didn't like take showers after PE and I wasn't like in football or anything. So yeah. I never had to do the group shower. We had thing. to shower starting I think in seventh grade. Did you? Yeah. And I think I got my first pube in like ninth grade. So oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, I was a late bloomer. That's <laughs> it was funny. Bad news. Yeah, thinking yeah. about it, I don't remember. What a when terrible I was idea. Making boys shower yeah, together. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and our PE teacher showered with us. No. Really? Yeah. See, these days you couldn't. And you, you shouldn't. Couldn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. <laughs> I agree. I agree. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Nobody batted an eye. That... Yeah. Yeah, That's I just so didn't do weird. the group sports so thing. So weird. I remember going to a YMCA with my dad as a little boy and- Swimming and going in the locker room and seeing a bunch of naked guys and thinking it was kind of weird. I don't know. I just hadn't yeah. seen it. I don't know. It just seemed a little weird. Yeah. I was always real timid, though. Like, we'd go work out at some club. My parents were a part of it at one point. And I would always, I'd still have the towel around me. Like, some guys would walk around naked. I, I was just timid. I wasn't used to it. I don't think that just being completely free with your swinging dick and balls in a public place with other men is right. Now, maybe that's just because yeah. I'm too closed off or whatever, but it's just, it, come on, man. Yeah, it you seems know? weird to me. Yeah. I and don't know. I'm when not they make used you to do it. it as a little kid, there's a lot of weird stuff that used to go on at school that doesn't not, happen anymore. Shouldn't happen. Yeah. It's why we all need therapy. <laughs> right. You know? You know what I mean? Yeah. These upbringings. It's yeah, not just our parents' fault. It's also the school's fault. Yeah, you know, <laughs> right. that's why we all need a good therapist. Yeah, and if you need a good therapist, you know where you can go: BetterHelp.com. BetterHelp.com. Yeah, you can get a therapist online. It's hard to find a therapist where you are, especially if you travel a lot. Like we travel a lot as comics. Yeah, Erica's back and forth to Los Angeles and Texas all the time. It's hard yeah. to. Keep a uh, a regular appointment with a therapist, but if you go to BetterHelp.com, your thera if you if you have access to the internet, you have access to your therapist, and you can talk it out. You could probably have a good one. I remember my parents made me talk to a therapist at the Jewish Community Center in Memphis many years ago. I talked to him one time and I stopped because he had a bunch of rings on his fingers. So I thought that was weird. I was like, why am I talking to this guy with a bunch of rings on his fingers? Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> I talked to the guy one time. It seems like if you're the kind of guy with a bunch of rings on your fingers, you should be the one in therapy, not the one handing out advice. I know. I was sitting there thinking, what am I doing talking to this guy? And I don't know if I need like, it. What was his I advice? Like, I don't you know. Need a you need a pinky ring, bro. Yeah, it was all <laughs> ring related. <laughs> uh, yeah, better help. Get out there and get you some therapy. It's cheaper than uh, than going to see a therapist as well. So visit betterhelp.com slash WMS. That's better, H-E-L-P, and join the over 2 million people who have taken charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional. In fact, so many people have been using BetterHelp that they are recruiting additional therapists in all 50 states. Special offer for William Montgomery Show listeners. Get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash WMS. And check out BetterHelp's new podcast, Getting Better, Stories of Mental Health. 
Hear Megan Trainer open up about motherhood or how NBA Hall of Famer Chris Bosch tames anxiety. Find Getting Better on Apple, Spotify, and everywhere else you get your podcasts. The William Montgomery Show is sponsored by BetterHelp. I got to listen to that Megan Trainer. <laughs> You're a big Megan Trainer fan, and everybody knows it. I am. What was her song she sang? Erica was saying it earlier. If, I think it's for kids. Uh, the you might have a mom, she might be the bomb. <laughs> That's the lyrics what? to one of her songs. One of my I, little cousins, like a six-year-old, it was her favorite song. Uh-huh. I thought Megan Trainer was, it's all about the bass. That's her, too. That's her. Mm -hmm. Oh, she did that song? That was her, that was her hit. I like the mom song. That was real popular, what, 10 years ago or, so, or something? <laughs> I remember that. hearing people. Yeah. I remember that. I didn't yep. realize who it was. Well, you know, now she's a mother and you can hear all about her, <laughs> on her foray podcast. into motherhood on her podcast. And Chris Bosch. Chris Bosch. He's an NBA player, or he was. Yeah, Chris Bosch is great. He was part of the uh, Miami dream team Heat. in Miami. Yeah, I remember that. He's mm -hmm. tall. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, even if you're 6'10 and you're in the NBA, you can have anxiety. I know. How does he tame it? I don't know. Neither do I have no idea how he well it. we should listen to the Chris Bosch on the Better Help podcast. Is it both of them, Megan Trainer and Chris Bosch, or is that my feeling is that that's probably just two examples of their like they've been oh, guests I see, on I see. the Better Help podcast. They talk to different people every week about a different sort I of see. thing. I was hoping those were the two like <laughs> people running the podcast. Megan and Chris <laughs> as like, your co-hosts. Yeah, that's a weird combination. Like a Regis and Kathy Lee thing. <laughs> well, maybe they should think about doing that if that's not what they're currently doing. I would watch Chris Bosch and Megan Trainer. Me too. Hell yeah. I would in a heartbeat. <laughs> yep. Well, that's a little sad because when I was reading that, I was assuming it was those two together doing a podcast. <laughs> but it sounds like they were just two guests of the podcast. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. We have we'll to find, find out. out. Yeah, we'll find out. We'll go find out. We'll have answers for you next week. Yeah, we'll listen to it and let everybody know. Mm-hmm. Oh, is there? Yeah. We are recording, so feel free to start whenever. I can't hear anything. Am I even plugged in? Does that matter? Hans can't hear anything, Grant. That does seem like a problem. I'm not plugged into anything. Yeah, that'd help. <laughs> Grant, are you serious? Is this? Are you continuing to throw people this, under this, the bus? Now he's he's been throwing everybody under the bus today. Now he's thrown you under the bus before it has really. Now everybody can see what Grant looks like. Finally, take your mask off. Show <laughs> There's Grant. We're not recording yet. Though. I thought you were what? recording. None of this. He's. He, he oh did. no! It there is recording. Okay, he's kidding. Recording. Yeah, that's Grant. He did this on purpose, and that's why he wore the mask, so we wouldn't see him. He just wanted to get on screen. Yeah. We figured that one out already. He wanted to... Uh... He needed his screen time. You can hear now? You, wanted yeah, you can hear now? Can yeah. Hear? Okay, we're recording. Cool, but we have been recording, right? We we had been, yes. Had been? Yes, we have been. I'm sorry. Yeah, have been. <laughs> we've, we've been recording the whole time. Yeah. Had been. It's like everything that's coming out of his mouth today, it's like he's screwing around with us. Sounds a little Omicron-y. <laughs> it does, yeah. We talked about, yeah, his wife has it. Now he's probably spreading it to all of us. I'm, I'm wearing a mask. Well, I wonder if that helps. Is it an N95? Yeah, is that an N95 <laughs> mask? It didn't look like it. <laughs> Did it. Sounds like, look like something your wife made you, <laughs> who has coronavirus. Yeah, did your wife make you that, Grant? Maybe. Yes, <laughs> maybe she did, but it's it's really well made. It's double lined. Double lined? <laughs> right? Cool. Well, that's sweet your wife made it. Think she can make all of us masks? Uh, yes, if you really want one. I mean, not today. <laughs> I mean, she's real sick today. But not today. Sometime. Yeah. Where does she go? Joanne's Fabrics? Yeah. You ever go there, huh? Yeah. <laughs> cool. What are you like, so or? Um, usually I'm there with my sister and she likes to like make clothes and stuff. Has she ever made you anything? She made me a mask. Nice. What did it have on it? Uh, it was just black and red and white. It was like checkerboard pattern. Cool. 
checkerboard. Do you ever play checkers? Uh, yes, I love checkers. Cool. Do you move your kings till the end or at the beginning or? Uh, king me. <laughs> <laughs> so that means you do move them <laughs> at the beginning. I would always leave my kings at the end till the end. Well, you don't get kinged until you go all the way across. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was picturing you automatically had kings on the back. William's route. got special checkers rules <laughs> that he plays by. Yeah, Memphis so, rules. Yeah, Memphis rules checkers. Yeah, you start out with four kings on the last <laughs> round. It makes it really exciting. That's awesome. Southern royalty. Southern royalty checkers. It's white privilege. Those are all slaves. <laughs> <laughs> with uh, just the kings at the lap back row. Yeah. Hans, I think I saw for the first time, um, this is Hans Kim, our guest today. Very sweet guy. We become buddies. Um, what was that? That was a fun little thing you just did. It looks like, I know, it looks good when you do it. <laughs> I look like a little girl. <laughs> do you think so? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. I got such a smooth face. It looks like I'm trying to be cute. Smooth face. If you had long hair, I you could be a lady probably. <laughs> <laughs> With a very strong chin. Yeah, a yeah, yeah. Voice. You could be like an ice skater or something. <laughs> <laughs> Some real fit. Like a weightlifter. Yeah, weightlifter. That'd be fun. Hans, I saw your uh Van, I think, for the first time. It looks pretty nice out there. Nice. Thank you. I assume you. that's yours. Yeah. It's a little messy, but I'll show you the inside later. You really would? Yeah. I'm How messy it. is it in there? What is, what's in there? It's a very small space, so it gets messy real quick. I'm actually moving from my friend's place to another friend's place right now because I'm looking after Curtis Nelson's dog. Nice. <laughs> That'll probably be a good gig. Have you started doing that yet, or is that just today? Yeah, that's today. I texted him today. He texted me today. He's like, I want you to come over and get to know my dog before I leave. So I'm like, oh, shit, what kind of, is this dog going to like? Yeah, what kind of dog is that? <laughs> yeah. That's Buck. Is it a scary you dog? You ever met Buck before? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, what is Buck like? Hans is in for it. Do you like dogs? Do you normally yeah. get along with dogs, Hans? Yeah. It'll Sometimes be... they don't respect me. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah. You have to be the alpha dog. I know. It's I don't think I could be one either. Yeah, it's uncomfortable. God, like, do, you ever, do, this? do you ever watch those videos where the guy's like the head of the wolf pack? Yeah. That would be pretty cool. He lets them lick his teeth. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, and then they lick his mouth. Is that a sign of weakness? Yeah. The one's doing it to him? Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> just getting people to lick your mouth all the time. Lick my mouth. Uh, I'm just yeah. picturing you and Curtis's dog licking each other's teeth <laughs> an hour into your meeting. So are you excited? Or are you kind of nervous? Or what are you I'm thinking excited. about? I'm excited. I think Curtis is rich, so I can't wait to be at his house. Are you going to go through his stuff? <laughs> no, <laughs> not really. I just want to use his gym so I could get buff. Oh, he has a gym. I think he does. Does he? Sure. Have you ever been over there? No. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I've been yeah. over there. I've not seen a gym. Oh. Uh, but he does strike me as the kind of guy who has like some kettlebells or something like that. Yeah. You know? I think Maybe he has any he's cameras in, he's in there? in good shape. <laughs> yeah. I he's probably going to be watching he, me. He might be watching. So you're telling me you wouldn't even like open up a closet? I'll open up a closet. Yeah, you sure. got to like open up some closets to see if you open up a closet that you might start opening up drawers. <laughs> and then you open up drawers. <laughs> and then you're just going through everything. You're rifling through his passport. <laughs> <laughs> looking go. in his pocket. Looking through his old checkbook <laughs> registers. Oh. Just a little. See? Yep. A lot of trips to Applebee's here, Curtis. <laughs> You pay for Applebee's with checks. <laughs> what a nerd. Curtis might. He's from Arkansas. Uh, Is he from Arkansas? Mm -hmm. Where? Uh, first off, I don't really ask people. What did you? Uh, what did you eat for breakfast today, Hans? I haven't eaten. I slept at six thirty today a.m. You went to sleep at six thirty a.m. Yeah. What were you doing up all night? I was uh, playing Catan and doing a live podcast. While you were doing Catan, yeah. 
What is that for people who don't, might not know? That's a board game, right? Yeah, it's a board game where you start out with a settlement and a road, and then you try to build more settlements and try to get 10 points. So it sounds kind of like Candyland. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now we were talking about Candyland earlier, and I was thinking that sounds more complicated than Candyland. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's you had more to the get speed it, of my game. Just... You had to get it exactly. Yep. Yes, that would that make it hard. Key. Yeah, yeah, you had to get it exactly. That makes sense. But we know thinking. that you're not the best at board games because you thought checkers. Mm-hmm. They used started to, off with your four kings. <laughs> they used to let you have four kings to start the game. Yeah, somebody was being sweet. <laughs> and little William, let little William have four kings. <laughs> gosh, 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 gosh. That's how they play at the uh, special ed class. <laughs> what, with the four kings? Yeah. Do you know how to play chess? Yeah, I love chess. I'm not good at it. Like, some people are really good at it. Yeah, I never learned how to play. How do you, yeah, some, sometimes little kids beat grown-ups. Yeah. <laughs> playing chess. Yeah, some kids are naturals. I wonder how that even happens. They're just really good. Kids are, like, really malleable, so they can just adapt to any world. That you put them in, yeah. When when are you gonna have some kids? You think you would? Probably after I get a lady to <laughs> be with me for a long time. How how is that? Dude fun? lives in a van. I <laughs> Not know. Anymore. Well, I yeah, live in he's Curtis's outfitting. house. Outfitting. <laughs> he lives at Curtis's house. That's right. <laughs> me and Buck are looking. I'm gonna be taking Buck out looking for some trim. It's gonna be like the talented Mr. Ripley, where you just end up killing Curtis <laughs> and taking on his life. <laughs> Good idea. But y'all aren't over in France with nobody around. It's in front of everybody, but you still get away with it. That would be fun. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm Asian. I know y'all would look just a little different, but <laughs> it could still be funny. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, if I can, I definitely will take as much as I can from Curtis. <laughs> cool, yeah, I would just literally, I think it'll be fun going through his stuff. <laughs> it's always fun going through people's stuff. Yeah. yeah. Totally. Just start going through Privacy. his Privacy. Just... <laughs> yeah, oh, I mean, he's inviting you into his home. He assumes you're probably going to look through his stuff. Yeah. I would think so. I would think that would be a given. He probably has dirty underwear on the top layer to discourage me. But then there would yeah. be like some jewelry or something. The good underneath. stuff under there. <laughs> <laughs> there would be some real, real valuable stuff. Yeah, under like dirty underwear. Yeah. The deed to, I don't know, Joe Rogan's new club. Yeah, he has the deed. Yeah, there. that's where Joe keeps it. <laughs> Chris's <laughs> drawer. <laughs> If you just start paying a bill, couldn't you just live there? Like squatter rights? <laughs> I just think that'd be kind of rude to <laughs> someone who let me stay in his house. And is paying me, too. Maybe you could just do like a parasite thing where you start living in a wing of the house that he doesn't even realize you're in there. Start construction. Yeah, start digging a little underground. There you go. How did you like that movie? So that's set in South Korea. Isn't that what you are? Isn't that where you were born? Uh, I'm South Korean. Uh, How do you like it over there? Have you ever been over there? Yeah, I love it. It's uh, Can you speak Korean? 안녕하세요. 제 이름은 김항입니다. 방구를 되게 좋아해요. Oh my gosh. What did you just say? I said, hi, my name is Hans Kim. I really like farts. Really? Yeah. What you really like farts or really oh, that's what no. <laughs> I really love farts. <laughs> he just knows how to say that in forty seven languages. <laughs> so you could say other stuff. Yeah. So you're fluent. I am good. I have an accent, like like a Mexican person that tries to speak English. Yep. There's a slight light, light, slight accent for me. But there's a slight accent for me in English, I think, where I uh, take a longer time to think of words sometimes. Do you? How do you? Dr- how do you dream at night? In what language? Uh, in English, mostly. Ever Korean? Yeah. What kind of dreams are those? Um, usually, my mom or my dad, and I'm like getting really angry at them. I didn't want to do it. Oh. <laughs> how would you say it in Korean? 
하기 싫어. 왜 이렇게 해야 돼? 이거 되게 싫어. What did you say? <웃음> Uh, I really like farts. <laughs> <laughs> Just angry. I said, I hate this. Why do we have to do it like this? I hate this. No. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I had a pretty good childhood. Nice. Did you? Where was that? It was New Jersey a- for s- zero to seven, Seattle from seven to 18. And then 18 to 22, Atlanta. And then 23 to 28 is Seattle again. And then New York. And then here. Did you start a black-owned business when you were living in Atlanta? Yes. <laughs> and it was, how, how was it in Atlanta? How'd you like it? <laughs> it was good. I went to Georgia Tech. <laughs> oh, did you? That's where my dad went. Oh, wow. They were both bumblebees. Yellow jackets or yellow jackets. <laughs> <laughs> we're not. We're bumbling around. <laughs> the rambling rack. Yeah, uh, bumbling around. What is a rambling rack? Like a car? Yeah, it's a car. What? It's just not doing good. <laughs> it's oh, really. What is it? It's a j- old jalopy. It's like a F- Henry Ford Model T. It is. Yeah, but it's like falling apart, kind of. <laughs> I mean, they do it up nice, but uh, it's just a mascot because it's an engineering school. They're like, look, we have a car in the 20s. Did you have a lot of Georgia Tech stuff, like T-shirts and stuff? I used to. I stole a backpack. I actually got suspended for a semester for thievery. What do you mean you stole a backpack? Like from went, the store? Yeah, from the Barnes & Noble and Tech Square. Um, <laughs> you I stole that? a backpack with the logo on it. How much was the backpack? Do you remember? Like 70 bucks. What'd you think? Just, I don't give a shit. I'm going to, would you put it, uh, take off the tag and put it on your back or something? On my back? I took it off backpack? and threw it away. Oh, the tag. I mean, it was on like a little. The backpack. What'd you think I was talking about? The tag? Yeah, the tag. Oh, oh yeah. Did you take it off and then put the backpack on your back? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they said, stop? No, I just pretended it was my backpack. Oh, that was another time I got caught. <laughs> it was another backpack at target i got caught for stealing like my, my like a computer mouse and a bowl and uh just random ass stuff what you just walked out with it yeah i tried to they caught you yeah the policeman was like come with me sir what'd you do i was like actually i uh don't want to (laughs) (laughs) yeah pretty much did you run off or did he catch you he grabbed me by the neck it's like come on you're coming with me and then i (laughs) reached in my pocket and he's like what are you doing and i was like oh sorry and he reached in my pocket and he found like a little razor blade he's like i could have cut myself if you reach in your pocket again, I'll punch you in the face. And then I took my glasses off. Oh my so gosh. I, like, oh, I don't want to get punched with my glasses on. <laughs> oh my gosh. I and thought I, you were going to say you had a gun in your in your belt. No. Like you were reaching for, why'd you have a razor blade? I was cutting open packages. <laughs> <laughs> what, just at the stores? Yeah. Did you target. normally walk around with the razor blade and do that? No, I went for the mm. expressed intent of thievery. How do you learn how to take a razor blade with you? Uh, just trial and error. I've been <laughs> I'd have been doing it for like six months, stealing stuff you left were and a real right. Bad boy. Yeah. How long you get? How old were you? I was twenty. So years ago. What are you? Forty now? Thirty-two. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm thirty-four. <laughs> nice. I'm about to be thirty-five on Wayne Gretzky's birthday. That's your birthday. January twenty-six. I don't even really nice. watch hockey or anything. He's an uh, amazing man. Do you know stuff about Wayne Gretzky? No. Do you watch hockey? <laughs> no. Do South Koreans play hockey? I'm sure some of us do. Yeah, probably. We're really good ice skaters. We're good at short track. Which short track? Ice skate the fast stuff? Yeah. It's like where you're not you're racing each other in like a big group. It's not just like you and this lane, you and this lane. You just all collide together and you're not supposed to touch each other. But and people are touching probably. Yeah. It sounds super dangerous. Are you going to watch the Winter Olympics? Yeah, I love the Winter Olympics. In Japan. Oh, again. Oh, wait. Is it? Uh, oh, China. 
Uh, yeah, they're doing it in Beijing again. Yeah. After the COVID stuff? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's... No, the time frame on that is off. I messed up saying that. It wasn't... They weren't doing the Winter Olympics last year, were they? They did the Summer Olympics in 2008. What would you? What would be your event if you were at the Summer Olympics? Um, probably the pole vaulting. Have you ever done that before? No. <laughs> That'd probably be fun though. You get up in the air real high. Yeah. <laughs> That's. <Woo. laughs> that seems like the yeah. yeah. It's the most fun. I feel like. Yeah, I think it probably would be. Because then yeah, there's a falling part. Whoa. Whoa. Sometimes the sticks snap. Yeah. yeah. If you go over the bar and you get to have the part where you're falling down, where you're like already celebrating in the air as you're going <laughs> down, like, I did it. Fuck yeah. Gold medal. Yeah. <laughs> gold medal. That's gotta be pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, that'd be cool wearing around a gold medal. Would you wear it around if you won one? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just all or the like, time. I wonder if some of the people do that. Probably the crazy the, ones. Yeah, and the people get the tattoos with the rings on them. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Do you have a tattoo? No. Would you ever get one? Yeah. Maybe like Joe Rogan or something. What, like his face or just the <laughs> words? Or the Vulcan. I don't know. Just the words? <laughs> the Vulcan. <laughs> the logo. Yeah, the logo. <laughs> Just on my chest. Oh, that would be great. <laughs> that would be funny. Wait, Han. So when was the? So you kissed a girl on Monday? Yeah, kissed three girls on Monday. Did you really? Four girls actually. Four. Yeah, during the Omicron variant. You're a super spreader, bro. <laughs> yeah, your immune system is probably pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think so? I uh, yeah, you I'm pretty healthy. I don't know if the kissing really helps that much. Was out of the four, was one of them like, it was like a really good kiss? Yeah, I mean, one of them was more committed than the others. Is that what normally happens when that ha when you're making out with the people? Uh, most of the time, they just tr try to half commit. They don't really want to go whole hog. <laughs> How often do they go whole hog? Uh, not very often. But sometimes? Yeah. That's fun. <laughs> yeah. That's better. I don't want to do all these pecs. The pecs are good, though. I have to, like, tell myself, yeah, I just, this doesn't normally happen. So, I How many girls have you made out with? Uh, I don't remember. What I, would you even guess? Probably, like, 20, 25, 30. Really? Yeah. What do your parents think? I haven't asked them. Do they know about it? I don't, I haven't asked. I don't know. I try. I, like what day? Do they get on like the computer and like look stuff up sometimes? Or? <laughs> yeah, sometimes they do. So I'm sure they might have stumbled across it. Oh my gosh, what do they think? I don't know. I bet they're like, oh, that's kind of weird. But I'm glad you're doing it. Yeah, good job. <laughs> good job you're on, you know, on a big stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do they think you're funny? They think I'm uh, intelligent. They're like, okay. oh, your comedy is sort of different. That's what my mom said, that it's different. Well, that's sweet. How did you feel when she said that? I was like, that's uh, as good as a compliment <laughs> as uh, I think that you can give right now. Yeah, yeah. That's the nicest thing you can say to me that isn't a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> this is not a traumatic yeah. event. So yeah. I'll take that's it. like a she's putting like a C plus up on the uh, <laughs> refrigerator. Yeah, she gave me a participation trophy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember years ago I was going to this open mic in Memphis, and I had the one this one piece ski suit on that I would wear some, and I had like arm protectors and knee protectors, like rollerblading stuff. And my mom was like, "What are you gonna go say?" <laughs> and I was like. I'm going to talk about how I was rollerblading and my skate got caught in a sewer grate and I got real hurt. And Francis literally starts crying. <laughs> <laughs> I will always remember that. Like not crying in like a happy laughing way, but I don't know what emotion it really was. She started crying. I'll always remember that. Just many years ago, just thinking, why is she crying? This is so weird. <sighs> oh, I'm going to think about this on stage now. Yeah, my God. Well, that's sweet. Your mom uh, 
said that, and their your dad might be rooting for you for making out with the chicks. Yeah, well, I'm rooting around in the mouth. <laughs> He's rooting for me. Yeah, that's uh, sweet. So what? What? So one of the girls said it was good. What is that yeah. picture? Look at what Grant is that pornography? What did he put up there? It looks what like did, when it's, you're uh, it's kissing. It looks like when you're trying to watch porn on oh, a not... scrambled channel in a hotel room. I you're like, is that a <laughs> what is, is that? that? A tit? <laughs> that looks like a cliff, like in Utah. <laughs> it does. <laughs> like your dad wow, you are canyon. Your comedy is intelligent. <laughs> <laughs> that looks, looks like, like the Moab Valley. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was this. Maybe if I zoom. Oh, uh, there we go. I'm going to get rid of it. Like I'm it. sorry. Too yeah, close. that's really, really weird you put that up. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. God. Is that 6th Street? Yep. That's the Ritz. Oh. Were you guys talking about that? Yeah, uh, there's 6th yeah. Street. Yeah. Yeah. 6th Street. Yeah, What's because we, we found out earlier, Hans, that uh, the first couple episodes of this show, we had uh, a picture up in the background that was like a, a skyline yeah. shot and it was beautiful but, but it, it turns out it was boston <laughs> yeah that was the start Not of all boston. this what's grant even doing yeah he was pulling our leg did a fucking picture of boston <laughs> and somebody saw that i would have never known yeah i assumed it was here it looked like a river i guess yeah. it was the ocean we thought it was ladybird lake and then austin on the other side yeah no not at all it sounds similar, same suffix. Boston. Yeah, one time we landed yeah. here and Erica was like, we're, we're in Boston? <laughs> when the what? plane landed, they're like, welcome to Austin. And I, I think we took edibles. I look at him and I was like, did they just say Boston? <laughs> and he's like, oh, fuck. Home alone. God, oh, one yeah. of the times flying, I took some edibles and it, I remember watching Harry Potter <laughs> and I just started... Total panic attack. I was like, what do I am. get up? What this do I walk movie around? Sucks. Yeah, not really because of the movie. I just got way too high and I started freaking out. Oh. Uh, it was awful. Is that when we went to Miami and we picked Harry Potter and we played it at the same time? God, don't let don't be saying that over this <laughs> over the year. I'm gonna lose a lot of street cred. <laughs> uh yeah, just full on panic attack. Do you ever get panicky when you're smoking weed? Yeah. I, uh, do. Yeah, I took an edible once and I just got delirious or like, uh, you know, felt like, ooh, woozy. And I was just <laughs> like, I was just like laying down the whole time and the people next to me were like, whoa. Where were you? <laughs> uh, I forget. Probably going from Atlanta to Seattle. Oh my gosh. Were you scared you were going to die or something? Me? Oh, uh, <laughs> no, I just felt like I was, I might throw up. So how would you say that? How would you interact with a person like when you're talking in Korean? Oh, pega no wapo. Oh, no mo. Aigo. Pango. What is pango? You said it a couple times. Fart. Oh. Uh, I knew it. <laughs> Wait, so what did you just say so right we're there? We're learning Korean. My stomach really hurts. Pango. Pango. Fart. Fart. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's funny. I'm so impressed. I was never able to learn another language. I took Spanish. I had to get tutored, I remember. I was never good at learning another language. I mean, it's hard to do it when you're just, it's a mental exercise. But if you're like there and there's like someone that you want something from, then you're like, blah, 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 blah. What, when you were little, you learned it? <laughs> oh, yeah. And that helps too if you're really young. Damn. Yeah, that's where I messed up. But it's like a song. Yeah, you have to learn the the language's song, or like pretend, like do a like an offensive uh, impression of their language. Oh. What? It's good to do that. Yeah, like when you're learning Italian. Hey, get Giuseppe. <laughs> <laughs> and, hey, hey, hey! Get your ass over here, you sweet mama. You Sita. sweet mama. <laughs> What does that mean? <laughs> uh, it's just like the way that they uh, s cat what does call MoMA people. Mean? <laughs> MoMA mean? MoMA. MoMA, Modern Museum of Art. Oh, wow, wow. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, uh, I love I love learning languages. 
I'm not good at I learned Spanish, but I speak it like uh a white man. So you know Spanish as well? Uh huh. Say something okay. Spanish. Hola, cuando estoy uh estudiando matemáticas tengo un culo muy grande. Hey, it's a big butt. <laughs> what does that mean? When I'm studying math, I have a big butt. I was trying to think of the word for penis, but I yeah, what is the Spanish word for penis? Vargas, maybe. Maybe. <coughs> I believe you. William well, we so took you know Latin. Spanish. A little bit. I just know the words, but I don't know how to yeah. sing the song of the people. That's sweet. You keep on doing that analogy that it's like a song. <laughs> <laughs> You're probably right. That's probably a good way to look at it. Every language has like a different like way of, uh, you know, using their mouth, throat. How is English compared to those other two? English is very like. What do you like out of those three the most? Um, I mean, I think Korean is like, um, uh, there's a lot of history and like a lot of tradition behind it. And then English is uh, sort of newer, but like British English is like very uh more sophisticated i think but american english is more like more direct and more like hey fuck you <laughs> what on how it's like <laughs> nine words in the english language. that's about it yeah it's more like uh fresh and new and hot and dangerous <laughs> korean is all mapped out because they've been speaking it way longer yeah really interesting <laughs> well i don't know how Long. I think they're. I think they're both. Or uh, English is a Germanic, so I guess German was spoken a long time ago. Or whatever. I love stuff like that. <laughs> I'm kidding. I never could learn it. How'd you do in Latin class? It was horrible. One <laughs> of the teachers uh, recently passed away. Really? I can't remember his name, but I remember hearing the news a couple years ago. One of the Latin teachers. Can you say anything in Latin? Yeah. Anything. I remember Puer is boy. Puer? Yeah, Puella is girl. <laughs> That's about all right. I remember. I remember I would take Adderall and go study up at my dad's office. The thing about Latin is that the uh, the meanings of the word are not dependent on where they are in the sentence. In other words, you know, like English language is a subject, verb, object. That's the way you order the words. You know that the subject, you know it's the subject because it's first. But in Latin, any of the words can be any part of speech depending on what ending you put on the word. So you can put them in any order. So that makes it tricky. But yeah. it also makes it, uh, that's why a lot of the great epic poems and shit w w it's in, were in Latin because you can order the words in any way you want. So uh, it's, it's, you know, it's good for writing. Yeah, I'm glad we actually stumbled upon the subject. We've normally, with our guests, we talk about the origins of language. And <laughs> so it's good we naturally stumbled upon it with you yeah. here, Han, since you actually know three languages. The other people haven't known other languages. <laughs> um, yeah, language is the language of the gods. Language <laughs> is the language of the gods. I've said that as well. <laughs> I, I agree. Whoa, what is that? Grant's screwing around. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I don't know what that was. It shouldn't have captured on there. I think what happened? Really... He took a screenshot. I took a screenshot. Did uh, you really take a fucking screenshot right there, Grant? <laughs> I told you Hans doesn't need his isn't wanting his image to be taken out of this. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Please, please don't do that. So Hans, you're not you're not doing the roast battle because uh Someone has COVID. Are you going to come to Fort Worth with me? Or that's not worth the drive. I found a guy who can drive, but it's supposed to rain tonight. So I'm a little worried about I would potential for to. crashing. I think that'd be awesome. What time are you guys leaving? Like five or four? Five. The two? thing starts at eight. Perfect. <laughs> so Three maybe hours. four, 3.30 or four. Nice. I don't know. Well, let me know because I probably have... 10 minutes the show's supposed to go an hour and a half i have somebody doing 20 and then the guy doing 10 so that's we're at 40 minutes so i'm oh, screwed a... the guy says <laughs> you're not getting paid if y'all don't hit an hour and a half you're not getting paid really yep and wow. again i maybe have 
20 minutes on a good day the other person again maybe 20 and the one guy 10 so so you need i'm 40 minutes so can you do 40 minutes tonight <laughs> where are you from <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's how i'm planning on lengthening my set doing a bunch of crowd work but just like that where this are you guy... all from <laughs> This guy God. knows what I'm talking about. Just start your act over yeah. in Korean. <laughs> have you ever done that? No. I have a little Korean in my act when I'm like, Uchegogi Odisaya. Where's that? Where's the post office? <laughs> or post office is where? <laughs> Wait, so what do you say in the bit? Or you just say that? Well, the bit is, uh, you know, people are racist to me. This guy comes up to me, he's like, Uchegogi Odisaya. And I was like, dude, that's racist. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's another punchline that uh, I'll save for the for the live audience. Fair enough. Fair enough. No, I totally get it. Tell just one of your other jokes that you don't normally tell in, in Korean and Korean. 이 사람들이 돈 없는 사람들이 문제인 거 같아 그 느낌이 있어요. 그런데 그건 틀려요. 그렇게 생각하면 안 돼요. 아 uh, no, who? Ah, fuck. <laughs> 누가 내돈 가져갔어? 이돈 없는 사람들이 가져갔어. 아니야. 돈 있는 사람, 어, 돈 있는 사람들이 가져갔는 것 같아. That sounds funny. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Which joke is that? I haven't told that one. Okay. I just discovered it on my phone. You could practice doing it in Korean and then nobody, people over here wouldn't know. So that's how you can practice your jokes. Yeah. I could practice my jokes by telling completely different words. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, are all those words different? Yeah. And like Whoa. the order that they go in is different. Can you do one of William's jokes in Korean? Uh, Kamala Harris. <laughs> yeah, what are the Kamala Harris jokes? Uh, 제일 좋아하는 말이 uh, progress, <laughs> progression. Uh, 하고 제일 좋아하는 uh, I, f I don't know how to say sentence in Korean. Sentence. <laughs> then <laughs> that could be fun. You translating if we ever did something and you could uh, translate it. Did it one time with Hank where he translated. Uh, the jokes into Spanish. Spanish. Korean could be fun. Think about it. Yeah, but I'm bad at Korean, so it'd be funny because it'd be so bad. Nobody at Fort Worth will know if you're bad <laughs> at Korean. Oh, maybe we do it tonight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The, yeah, Whoa. you translate his 30 minutes. That would double the length of the set. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> and all those, those Texans the could length. laugh at a... A chink saying, Come on, is that really uh, how no. you feel? That's not what people would be doing. Is that how you feel? Uh, yeah, a little bit. I, I love chinks. Okay, well, then don't do it then. No, I love it. <laughs> Gosh, don't put that on me. Well, then don't do it. I think it could be fun, no. but if that's really how you feel, then you shouldn't do it. No, I love it. I think I'd, I'd play up the chinkness. <laughs> Good. Um, well, maybe let's think about it if you really can tonight. Yeah. Okay. I could. And we can all just take your van. Would you be willing to drive? <laughs> yeah, but uh, it's is it it's, safe in that thing? No, I only have room for two. And then if we get in a crash, there's a lot of projectiles. They would come hit your head. Yeah. Um, well, let's not do that then. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's. Uh, I don't want to drive it as much as possible, but... Uh, I mean, we could sleep in there afterwards. <laughs> you don't want to die in a car crash because you got hit by your bedroom alarm clock. <laughs> I know. Yeah, that's an embarrassing bad. way to go. Yeah. Yeah, don't let it happen to you, man. Get all the stuff out of the back of it. I need all that stuff. It's like my he possessions. Lives in there. Okay. I mean, in okay. a car crash, things go <laughs> Get everywhere. Get rid of it. <laughs> no, not to get. <sighs> Are you excited? I'm not to, saying that. Are you excited to have a toilet and a bathtub? Yeah. Nice. I can't shit whenever I want. I gotta hold it in. What? Just normal day to day life? Yeah. In the van. How often do do you not have a, like a specific time where you do do every day? I do. The I can predict it. Uh, usually around six p.m. when the mics start. Nice. Then you do it then. 
Yeah. What do you have to do it at like the bar where you're going? Yeah. Don't you get like free gym trials to poop? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, how how bad does it start hurting? It doesn't. Like how hurt. long do you have to hold it in? That's kind of sad. <laughs> <laughs> you have to hold in your shit all day long. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that seems sad. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's a tough life I live. I'm a very very poor Aren't man. Aren't you saying you tt in the rivers? T T P T T P. I dump it in oh, the dump river. It. What are you doing it in bottles? In detergent bottles. Oh, that's like, nice. Yeah, they got your big. thing can't fit in just a regular water bottle. Yeah, it has to be a big <laughs> detergent bottle. Yeah. So people think you're dumping detergent and bleach into the river. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like some sort of no, terror. no, it's urine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't it's worry, it's pee. <laughs> It's like even crazier, kind of. <laughs> I saved my piss. <laughs> I need to put it in the river. What makes you put it in the river, not just like on a dirt patch? Um, Maybe that's a good idea in the river. I just feel like the trees wouldn't appreciate it. I feel like the river, at least, it, like, it, it takes it away. Yeah, uh, that makes sense. I put it in the storm drain. That's usually where I dump it is in the city. I find a storm drain. How filled up will the container get before you dump it? Pretty full. I'm pretty lazy about it. So how many times are you peeing in the thing? Probably seven to eight times. Yeah, because one of those bottles is pretty big. Yeah. And it starts to smell. So. Is it the big kind you put on the shelf and you have to press the little spout and the stuff comes out? I just picture you doing that with the pee into the river. No drip. <laughs> yeah, my old roommate in LA, Jody, I hope he's doing well. I haven't spoken to him recently. He used to pee in bottles down in his room. There'd be a bunch of like yellow bottles down there. I heard that story. I think you told it on the podcast where you drank your own pee because you did that. Oh, that was his own pee. That was during COVID. He was, uh, yeah, Erica brought that up. I've, I had forgotten about it. I think someone had to like mention about drinking pee, and I was like, oh, yeah, William has. Uh, he was drinking, <laughs> he was drinking the night before, and I think like maybe had like a podcast in the morning and immediately started drinking pretty early. You're sweet to say that. I think I just started <laughs> drinking, <laughs> and um, he had two cans next to each other, like the one he was currently drinking and I guess the one from the night before. I think, he, I don't remember, were you like playing video games or something and you didn't want to leave my room? I was just rope? up all night and I, yeah, I just kept, I think. And he's never done this. Night. He never peed in anything before. And then he, I didn't want to leave a room. I feel like I was being loud and the sweet grandparents are out there. So, I think I was just feeling. So that next I morning he room. grabs one of the cans and he doesn't know how to just like take a nice little sip. He gulps it. And then he looks at me, he goes, <laughs> that was just piss. Yuck. He said it was salty. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure I was dehydrated. Yeah, yuck. I had blocked that out of my mind. Nice. <laughs> or I'm just forgetting everything. Yeah, that's a side I, effect. Yeah, or I'm just forgetting everything. <laughs> that's that's actually a blessing. Some people like eternal sunshine of the spotless mind. Oh, yeah, I saw that one years ago. Was that with Jim Car the, the yeah. mask guy? The mask guy, the Ace Ventura. It's like a love story. Yeah, it's not really funny at all. <laughs> is, is it? Is it a sweet ending or a bad ending? It's a sweet ending. Does he end up remembering the girl? No, but they forge a new relationship. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah. That's Sometimes, sweet. Yeah, I remember watching that. Yeah, it really affected me. Do you watch movies with the, uh, if you ever bring a girl back to the van or is there like a TV? Do y'all watch movies or just? Yeah. I oh, took really? one girl out camping and then we watched Luca. I have my, uh, it's a great movie. I actually teared up a little bit. What's Luca? You fell asleep. <laughs> what is it? The Disney Pixar where the kid, it's he was Italy. like an underwater guy. You didn't, I finished it. You He's fell like asleep. a mermaid. Oh, yeah, the little... I miss the old Disney animation. I don't like all this Pixar stuff. Yeah, you like Snow White and Lion King. Yeah, Snow White, Lion King, Rescuers Down Under. I don't know that one. <laughs> you never saw that one? Is that an Australian one? Yeah, it's set in the Outback. It's the Rescuers set in the Outback. I don't know what the Rescuers are. It's a little mouse couple. It's a sweet little <laughs> mouse couple. <laughs> that that figures stuff sense. out. You haven't... You really didn't see that? 
growing up? No. Is that like Five Will Goes West? Yeah, but that Five Will Goes West isn't Disney. I don't think. Did you ever see the one about the dogs? All dogs go to heaven? Yeah. That one was interesting. That's kind of a sad one. Yeah, it's really dark. And that little girl whose voice it is, her dad killed her. Judith Barcy. She was also the voice of the little foot. Yep. Those in the land before time. Child actor de- parents, they're weird as fuck. Yeah. Yeah, you would have to be weird to be nudging your kid, I think, into like yeah. into the spotlight. That does seem very strange. Yeah, the dad killed her ass. Maybe probably she, got fed up. She's probably yeah. bitching a bunch. Probably got fed up. <laughs> I'm the star. I remember yeah. <laughs> on um, Kill Tony during COVID, you got fucked up and you kept saying, but nobody wants to talk about Judith Bursey or whatever her name is. <laughs> Do you remember? And yeah, with people Jody, don't want to talk about her. Nobody's ready to yeah. talk about it. Yeah. It's really uncomfortable. It's super uncomfortable. Yeah. Some parent <laughs> killing the kid. Yeah. That's, Did they're, they're, he kill himself? I can't remember. Me neither. Yeah, and she was a sweet little foot voice on that dinosaur movie where there were like 20 of those movies. Land Before Time? Land mm-hmm. Before Time. Is she the annoying one? Yeah, was she? <laughs> I don't fucking remember. There was one that was like, you guys aren't supposed to do that. That was probably her. <laughs> Ducky? Ducky, yeah. Ducky. Is she Ducky? Look, there she is in that, in the All Dogs Go to Heaven. I think that's right before the pizza scene where they have the the thing of pizza and it's gooey pizza. You like pizza, don't you, Hans? Yeah. I love uh, I love that you know exactly where it is. I thought- uh, you maybe... Oh, they're eating the pizza. <laughs> I love that part. I thought maybe you're talking about uh, the Great Escaper, the Homeward Bound. Yes, I remember that one with the live animal. Remember Milo and Otis? Yeah. I think they killed a bunch of animals to make that. <laughs> I really think they did. Milo and Otis, the little cat and little dog. Heavenward bound. Heaven bound. We're like Milo and Otis. <laughs> You're the big, big old St. Bernard. Milo and Otis, there's not a St. Bernard. It's I a am. little orange kitty and a little pug. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Milo <laughs> and Otis. Yeah, totally. We're like Milo and Otis. <laughs> yeah i mean are you the cat or am i the cat yeah i'm the little orange cat oh uh, i'm the pug and you're the pug because they got a flat face i wouldn't say that isn't a pug a uh, chinese dog though uh yeah i think so but you're not chinese but still it's look close. milo and otis <laughs> oh yeah you are the redhead cat it looks like us it's perfect <laughs> yeah put your glasses on get a load of this one isn't that nice. funny yeah there we are ginger then I got those black ears. Those black eyes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, white skin or something. What color totally are your eyes? Dark brown? Yeah. <laughs> They're pretty dark. Yeah. You see mine? Mine are pretty dark too. Yeah. Brett has blue eyes. Mm-hmm. That's beautiful. Erica has... Grant eyes. <laughs> Grant, yeah. what color eyes do you have? Grayish, bluish, green. I don't know. Something What a there. dumbass answer. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Gray? <laughs> He's been actively trying to sabotage this whole fucking deal. He gave three different colors when you asked him that question. Grayish, bluish, <laughs> green. <laughs> Those are all different colors. <laughs> they are. That's awesome. Sorry, I don't know what color they are. Okay, fair enough. Fair. You need a woman for that. They need a paint swash. Swatch. Be like, you're Old Navy. Sea foam. <laughs> Salmon. <laughs> Salmon color. Salmon. Would you get the contacts to make your eyes look a different color? Yeah. Have you ever worn them? I worn contact. I haven't worn those before. Do you like contacts? No, they dry out my eyes. Do you ever wear contacts? Nope. Yeah, it seems like they're scary putting them in your eyes with your, you put it on the tip of your finger. Yeah. <laughs> they're hard to put in. I'm like, you know, like you got to get good at it. And then it. what if they get sucked up into your eye or below your eye? 
Think that it happens? Yeah. Gosh. Yeah. Well, we're figuring it out today. <laughs> we're figuring it all out today. And Grant, we're going to have to do something about these fucking earphones that keep falling out. It's been a huge distraction. I want to apologize to you formally. <laughs> formally. Uh, Thank you. I just really want to. Uh, Why don't you put on the uh, big old, the honkers? I don't know. Maybe I should. I like my head glistening in the, uh, look at that. <laughs> I like my head just glistening in, glistening in this. At first I didn't want to see it. Now I can't stop looking at it. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I didn't want that thing there because I knew I was just going to stare at it. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> no, I'm not. That's good. You bounce some of the light back. Show the audience what it's like. God, I'm glad you didn't wear a green shirt. I wore a green shirt the first day. <laughs> well, I have all my shirts in my van, so I could have changed. Cool. Amy O was sitting there. Oh, no. I saved her car last night from getting a ticket. The ticket guy in that back parking lot was trying to give her a ticket. And then I was like, I was kind of high and I was just driving back. And I was like, well, I should try to text her. Yeah. Even though I knew her phone was locked up. And then William gets home. He's like, it's kind of bad. She's not paying for parking. Yeah, no, it's like, <laughs> not paying for parking. <laughs> her life is falling apart. Yeah. She's <sighs> not following the law. That's the first sign. You got to respect the law. I know. You totally do. No, Amy. And then I felt bad. I was like, well, do I walk in the place and go tell her in person? But I was like, nah, I'm just leaving. <laughs> <laughs> it's already all right, me texting. Because at first I was like, I'm not going to do anything. Up. But then, yeah, her, whatever. But you saved her? She got saved by you? Yeah, the guy was nice. Yeah, pretty much. Nice. I pretty much saved Amy O's life last night. <laughs> <laughs> it almost scares me she knows where we live. Oh, yeah, I, I did her hair. She, it, <laughs> she stayed over at our fucking place for four hours. <laughs> like in an hour? Which is fine. I know she'll watch it. I'm not saying anything <laughs> bad, but it was a long time. Yeah. Um, I mean, I think that she's, uh, you know, very uh, strange. And uh, she's, like, very, you know, like, uh, you know, different. She is. It could be all that jail time. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel like she manages it better than most people. Like, she's, like, barely, like, keeping it, like, inside the lines, which is but fun. But she is. I agree. Yeah, I like her. Yeah. She's a nice lady. Total character. Yeah. Total character. Total character. I'm well, Hans, what were you saying, Erica? I'm excited for you guys to go to um, Pennsylvania and share a hotel room and watch Forensic Files. Forensic Files? <laughs> I'll watch it. I don't know if... Uh, Ryan. Yeah, Ryan, he's always texting me. Just all giving me all this information, and I'm thinking... What is going on here? <laughs> <laughs> kind of. All that information and... A lot of information that I don't know what to do with. <laughs> <laughs> what do I do with all this fucking information you're giving me? Yeah, just book it and uh, let us know. What is all this information? Well, he's coming tonight. Oh, yeah. He's one of the one of the crew. Yeah, he's coming tonight. I asked if he could drive me, but he's sticking around, which really pissed me off because I was really <laughs> needing that ride from him. What's he doing in Dallas? I don't know. Something. He's doing something else. He's probably stalking someone. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. All right, Hans. Well, this was very fun. Thanks for having me, William. Yeah, well, thanks for coming. And you can show us... Uh, your van afterward. Yeah. Maybe we can let Grant come look at it because I know he wants to. Yeah, totally. <laughs> I'd love to. Thanks. He'll probably throw us under it. <laughs> yeah. <he could. laughs> Boom, call back. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny that one went immediately over my head right after we had been talking about it. Little scary. Uh, an example of me forgetting everything, Hans. <laughs> That's why tonight's going to be a disaster. Um, I think if you could translate, though. That could be, it'll double the time. Yeah. <laughs> Funny. I'll do it. Think about it. For at least some amount of time, maybe. The whole time would be probably horribly too much. <laughs> Way too much. Cool. Yeah. All right. Well, nice to see you, Hans. Thanks for having me. Thanks for coming on here. Yes.
a pee bottle. Yeah. Okay. Is it really? Yeah. I'll fill that. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Thanks for joining us for this week's episode of the William Montgomery Show. Send your questions, artwork, and manifestos to the William Montgomery Show at gmail.com. Leave William a voicemail at 737 471 1098. Never miss an episode of the William Montgomery Show by subscribing to the William Montgomery Show channel on YouTube and anywhere podcasts are sold. Check out William online at william.f.montgomery1 on Instagram. For more William Montgomery, check out Kill Tony on YouTube and see him live at the Vulcan Gas Company in Austin, Texas every Monday night. For more of me, Brett Erickson, check out Issues with Andy on Patreon. Find me on Twitter and Instagram at ibretmypants. This episode of The William Montgomery Show was recorded at Permanent Record Studios right here in the heart of Austin. The William Montgomery Show is produced by William Montgomery and Brett Erickson. The William Montgomery Show is a Fanny Co. production. Thanks for joining us. See you next time. Shh. Who the fuck said that? I'm trying to have fun tonight.